Hey guys, it's Shelly. Um, I am here with my week 15 post-op lap band update. Um, I'm on time this week. I don't know how it happened and I can't believe that I'm not doing anything right now. But it's Thursday morning and here I am. So, oh, here I'll show you guys my new septum ring. I couldn't show you before, but now it's good and I hope you like it. Um, people either like love it or hate it, so you probably fall into one of those categories. Um, let's see, last week I was 221.8 and this week I am 216.8. So that is a five pound loss this week. Um... And I have to say that it's probably from not eating enough this week. Um, I exercised Friday, Monday, Wednesday. And I'm going to exercise today, but I did not exercise Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, or Tuesday. So, um... I can't say because I was working out really hard at the gym. You know, Friday I saw my trainer. I did 30 minutes on the elliptical. The same thing Monday and the same thing yesterday on Wednesday. So, um, I, yeah, I can't say it's because I hit the gym really hard this week. I, I honestly think it's because I've been so busy um, working at my dad's restaurant and I forget to eat. So I have started to set an alarm on my phone uh, to remind myself to eat, because uh, what I've been doing is I would wake up in the morning, I would take my vitamins, I'd eat a bowl of Kashi Goline cereal, which I really like that cereal, because, well, I like eating cereal for breakfast, and that cereal has, um, like, 10 grams of protein and a lot of fiber, and it's, like, no sugar and stuff, so I really like eating that cereal, and I eat it with almond milk. Um, and then I told you I bought lunch meat and stuff at, for the restaurant to eat there, but, you know, I, I would, it would be 3 o'clock and I realized, oh shit, I haven't eaten lunch yet, and I've only had 150 calories this morning for breakfast, so, um, yeah, I've been doing that, and that's probably not good. Um, I was probably averaging this week, like, six to 700 calories a day, which is really awful, and... Um, yesterday I got back on track and I ate all the meals that I was supposed to eat and I had a really delicious dinner last night at, um, David's parents' house. His mom made, um, lasagna and then instead of, um, pasta sheets, she used zucchini, like she shaved zucchini or into strips and used that and that was really yummy. So, um, yesterday I started with the alarm and I'm going to keep doing that so that I can make sure that I'm getting at least... Uh, 900 to 1,000 calories. So, um, I guess that's that's where I'm at. Like I said, I've just been really busy and I haven't been maybe paying as much attention to myself as I should be, um, but I'm going to stop doing that. Um, oh, something that's also exciting is I got, uh, my mom had an, like an elliptical machine at this other house that she was trying to sell and she just sold it. And so I got that elliptical machine now. We forgot it was even there until she needed to get everything out of the house. And so now I have this elliptical machine. It's an old an old machine, uh, probably at least 10 years old. Um, it doesn't have any digital display or anything, but it's something I can have in the garage um, for a day when I can't go to the gym, but I would still like to work out. Uh, I haven't used it yet. It's still in... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, it's still in two parts, but I need to get that put together. Um... Oh, a couple weeks ago I told you guys that I have been I bought the pre-workout supplement called Jacked. Um, the one that my trainer recommended. And I love it. I just want to tell everyone that I freaking love it. And if you have been thinking about getting some sort of a pre-workout supplement, um, mine really helps me. And it could help you to work out longer and harder and have more energy and all that stuff. So, um... Um... So yeah, if you're thinking about doing that, I would look into it, see which one that you want to get, and go for it, because it's really helped me, um, and I've noticed a difference in my workouts since I started using it. Um, something else that I wanted to talk about, which I know I talked about it before, and like seriously, until like two weeks ago, so up until like week 12, 
I was still having a lot of problems with constipation. I was still having to take stool softeners every day. I took Colace. My surgeon told me it was okay to take Colace. It's not a laxative. Um, so I was taking that all the time. But I don't know if it's just that my body is finally catching up and becoming regular again. Or if it's because how busy I have been and how active my body has been like consistently throughout the day since I've been working so much. Um, but I have become regular again, and that is really amazing, and I know that it might not sound like that big of a deal, but it is really nice to know that my body is in working order. Um, you know, maybe some might think that, oh, it's like maybe it's inconvenient to not be regular or to be constipated or whatever, but like, it scared me. I didn't like the idea that like something in my body was not working properly, and I couldn't figure out what it was because um, I was eating whole foods, I was eating a balanced diet, I was eating fiber, I was eating all these things and it still wasn't working. So now it's going good. Um, if that changes, I'll let you guys know. Um, something, I guess another side effect issue that I've been having is my hair is starting to thin, fall out. Um, anytime I wash it, I get not clumps of hair, but more than it used to be. So um, I hope that that slows down. I hope that I hope that that doesn't continue, but I'm, I'm sure that it will. I don't have enough hair as it is. Like, my hair is thin. I have thin hair to begin with, so I hope I don't lose too much of it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, something else. And I, I really don't want this um, to, like, come out the wrong way. It's something that I really just, like, I don't know if anybody else has had to deal with this. I'm sure lots of people have. Um, not people who've had a lap band surgery, just anybody who has lost weight and like dealing with people noticing your weight loss and the way that they react to you. And um, I would say probably within the last month, I have had so many people say things to me. Well, I guess some people who had never seen me before. Like, for example, at my dad's restaurant opening. There was a lot of his friends who had come to the restaurant who I had never met before. And he you know, introduced, oh, this is my daughter, Shelly. Um, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, she's so pretty. Like, how could she be your daughter? You're, like, messing with him or whatever. And, and those aren't really the comments that I'm talking about. But I had, I guess, just since I've lost weight, like, a lot of more people notice me. A lot more people tell me I'm beautiful. I was at a diner the other day. And I go to check out my, to, with my ticket to pay, and the lady's like, I just want you to know that me and all the other waitresses were just talking about how beautiful you are. And, like, obviously, like, if somebody compliments you, like, it, it feels nice. Um, but I think it's also, like, it kind of, it upsets me, too, because, like, obviously, yes, I'm thinner. I am, I don't even know how much, let's see, 216? 283 to 223 was 60 pounds plus 267. So I, or 67 pounds lighter than I was. Um, and I guess when, like, I was heavy, I would get, I know I told you guys a lot before, well, I'm still heavy, but at my heaviest, I would get a lot of comments of, like, oh, that I had a really pretty face or... I, I dressed really well for a big girl or any of these things and I just think that now like people oh you're so beautiful and it's like like I look the same that I did back then like was I heavier absolutely but like I guess it kind of bothers me I mean I, I it shouldn't bother me that society like people don't think that fat people are pretty like I I get that I mean I don't agree with that but I understand that that is how our society works and I guess it's just like it's kind of annoying to me that maybe somebody who, you know, four months ago would have never said something like that to me, like that I was so beautiful or something like that. Or I get, um, I've been getting some comments from people who did know me before who have seen me lose weight. And what someone, my dad, one of my dad's friends said yesterday, oh, you're just getting prettier and prettier. You're losing so much weight. And I know that he meant it to be nice. And I know that it wasn't about... He wasn't saying, you were ugly when you were fat. Like, I, I understand that. Um, but I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of upsetting. Because I, like, I am proud of myself. And I'm amazed with the changes that I have made with my body. And I am more pleased with my appearance, obviously. But 
I guess it's just, like, annoying to me that everyone, like, equates, like, your beauty with your weight. Like, I like I wasn't as pretty before just because I was fat or or things like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what I'm trying to say. Um, that's just something that I've been dealing with recently. And it's, um, David asked me the other day, like, how I felt about it. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And he was like, well, I notice people say things like that to you a lot. Like, how does it make you feel? And... You know, before, I guess I, I wasn't thinking about it a lot or I hadn't considered how it made me feel. Um, if a stranger said something to me, like, it didn't upset me because they didn't know that I used to be happy. They were just saying, look look at you right now. This is what I think about, whatever. Um, but I think when people say things like, you're getting prettier the more weight you lose. And it's just like, like, I don't know. People are insensitive, I guess, and they don't really understand. Um, and I, I know that comes with, this whole journey, I know that, you know, the thinner I get, the more people will notice me. Um, I guess that's just something I have to learn to deal with. Um, I wish it hadn't, wasn't that way, though. I think it's, I think it's kind of shitty, actually. So, um, so that's that. Um, I think that that's everything that I have to talk about this week. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been, like, super active, um, I'm really hoping that after next week I'm gonna have I'm gonna have two nights off from the restaurant and I hope to have at least one weekend day. Um, I haven't been able to watch like anyone's videos for the past two weeks. Um, and that's like that's kind of like really upsetting for me because like I want to be doing it and I just like don't have the time to do it. So I think I'm gonna bring my iPad to the restaurant with me today and then whenever we're slow I'm gonna um, watch stuff on it. Um, but yeah, that's, I guess that's what's going on with me. Oh, I'll do my body shot for you guys, which I want to show you. These are my collagens. Uh, they're still a little tight. You can see my belly hanging over them. Um, but I would wear these. Like, I, hold on, let me show you. So when I pull them up. Yeah, so they're still a little tight up here. But I think that that's mostly just because, like, my belly here is just, like, so loose. If it was firmer, it wouldn't be as bad. But, so this is, these are they. So, we do this. Okay. And I apologize that my house is kind of messy. I have not been home to even be able to wear, or to be able to... I don't know if you can see that, 33 slash 16 regular from the Gap, so. Um, because they are a little snug, I don't know. I don't know if this is acceptable or not. I said that just because they button doesn't mean they fit, but I feel like in a pinch, if I didn't have any pants, I'd wear these out right now. Um, I have another pair that fit me better, you know, but that's, so that's that. So I'm in these, so let's see. Today is week 15. And I believe that I bought these on MLK Day, which was like January 20-something, which would have been like week four. So it took me like um, 11 weeks to get into these from my 22s. So that's exciting. I'm very proud of these pants. So um, I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I can't wait to see Jen and Brad on Saturday. We're going to my dad's restaurant. Well... I'll be there working, and then they're going to come eat with me, and then they'll probably leave, and then I'll probably keep working, so, um, I'm excited for that, I, um, we have our engagement photos in two weeks, and I believe I have a fill scheduled for next Tuesday, which I can't believe that it's been six weeks since my fill, no, I was mistaken, my fill's not till the 23rd, so I have two more weeks until my fill, so, Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.